Welcome in this video in which we are going to learn how to create an application following IEC 64099. So this is a small application I'm going to program. I have three devices. In the first one I have some buttons sending events to do addition or subtraction to the second device. And the second device do the operation and send events to the third one to do multiplication or division. The third one sends to the first one the result of the operation. So I create a new project. In this project I'm going to insert in the deployment view some new devices. So I insert two devices and I connect this device to my network. Okay, in each device I will insert a resource and I will rename this resource resource 2 and resource 3 according to the device. In my first device I'm going to create the variables that I will need. So I will need two buttons. I will need to display the result of the operation. So it will be a double integer and I will need two other double integer to do the operation. So the addition, subtraction or multiplication division. I'm going to create a new IEC 64099 function block and I will give the name my buttons to this function block. Um, here I see that my function block has a shape which is different than uh, uh, 61131 function block. I have two parts. At the top it's the events. At the bottom it's the data. So I have created two events and I have created two data. So I'm going to insert a OR divergence with two transition and under this transition I have two actions to send my events. So the first transition will be that I have clicked on my button 1 and the second one is that I have clicked on my button 2. So if I click on the button 1 I want to send an event to the second function block so I select my event 1 and for the second branch I choose event 2. I'm going to reset automatically my buttons in the same step. So I choose boolean reset action. OK, so I can write here also that the output 1 is my global variable val1 and the output 2 is the global variable val2. So I have created one function block with two events output and two data outputs. So I have to do the same in the second branch. I just check that there's no mistake in my function block. OK. Uh, in the second resource, the same way, I'm going to create a new 64099 function block. And it will be plus minus because it, it will do an addition if you receive the event number one or a subtraction if you receive the event number two. So I create two event inputs. And I create two event outputs because I have to send to the third function blocks to do a multiplication or a division. I have two inputs and I have one output which will be the result. So in this function block I insert a OR divergence and I insert under this OR divergence two event transition. So if I detect the event number one, I'm doing this action. So I will put in the output the sum of the two inputs. So I have done an addition. In the other branch, if I receive the event number two, I will insert a step and in this step an action which will be the subtraction. So I put in my result the subtraction of my two 
values. When it's finished, in each step I send an event to the next function block. So I have chosen an event action in each of the steps. I just built to check that there's no mistake in my function block. Okay. And finally, in the last one, in the last device, I create a new 64099 function block. So it will do the multiplication and the division. I call it uh, muldiv, for example. And I'm going to open uh, my function block and create two inputs one output to send the result to the display in the first device. I have two inputs and I have only one output, which are double integer variables. So if I edit my function block, I have still my OR divergence with two event transition. So I receive the event number one or the event number two. If I receive the event number one, I'm doing a multiplication, so I just write in my output the result of the multiplication of my two inputs. I copy this, and in the other branch I insert a step with an action where I'm doing a division. In both steps I have also to create another action which is that I send the event. So I, I didn't do that in each step. I have created a new step under my uh, OR convergence. It's the same, exactly the same effect. So now I have to go back in my device number one and create a function block to receive the event of displaying the result. So I create a new function block, I call it my display, and I'm going to create the input. So if I receive the event to display the value, and I have a data which is the value to be displayed. So if I receive my event, I have an action. It's to put in my display global variable my input var input one. Okay, so I have created all my function blocks. Now I have to create one 64099 program in which I'm going to call all these function blocks and link them together. So in the program section I will just add one 64099 application. And in this application, I'm going to insert some blocks. I will begin with the my button function block. Then I have the plus minus function block. Then the multiv function block. And then the display function block. OK, I see that all these function blocks are in the same program, but they belong to different resources. So I just link the event and the data together. I will just insert a constant for the MULDIV. I will multiply or divide by 100. I can build now my solution, so I have no errors. I will be able to simulate my application. So, I open my dictionary in order to be able to change the value of my variables. I'm creating a vertical group. So, I have to enter two values for the val1 and val2 global variables. So, let's say 10,000 and 6,000. If I click on button 1, I'm doing an addition and a multiplication, and I see that my number and of event has been increased. If I click on my button 2, I'm doing a subtraction and a division, and I see that my number of event have increased. Okay, I see in each function block the number of event which is increasing. 
This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or supereurope at isagraph.com.